Hello everybody, it is Strategist Primus and I'm back! And this is Blackfires Part 3. If you haven't seen the first two parts, please click here. We'll walk you through them. Okay, now that they're all gone, <clears throat> again, if you haven't seen the first two parts, please click it. It will explain a lot, like, you know, why a Blackfires King. Or why are all these men here sieging High Garden? What what's an Aaron doing with High Garden and the Reach? You know, spoilers. Go click. It's it will explain it much better than I possibly could at the moment. So that aside, I'm going to send the auxiliary force off to go chase some errands, and we're going to sit here sieging High Garden. That dude's improved. That's good. I need better commanders. In fact, he's improved enough to get a command. Uh, give that to him and Mathos. Yes, there we go. Sir Luther, he's my next Kingsbury member. I am, I am marking him. Him, Sir Luther, Western Asley Valerian, duelist, formidable fighter, decent commander. Yeah, him. I. <coughs> he's marked. No excuses. Alrighty. We're gonna win this war. We're already sieging down High Garden. We smashed his army. He barely even had an army. Oh, don't get you dare yet arbitrary. There we go. Break spear? No. We need to make damned sure none of those Targaryens come back to bite us. Mathis is also King's Guard material. I have to remember that. Clement should be my gold close guy. My half sister Gwynis has grown weaker and has the bloody flux. Well, I don't care, but I still want to keep tags with some Targaryens in exile. It's terrible things that happen out there. White peace. Uh, no. No, that's not happening. Uh, and his daddy, Dundiddly, joined him. Uh, I figured that was coming. Alright, you, I want you to have... Eat them Darians. Darians. This will take a minute. I'm terribly sorry. Every time I do this, it just takes a while to find the right little crest. There it is. Darren, and I would like... Night Song. I don't remember his crest. Sweet Sister would be good too. Ah, there he is. Oh, the Karens. I should know that by now. Anyway, now with them all tending, get to Lothar and tell him to go deal with the Vale. I'll flip to that probably as. Aha. Release all the prisoners. And he's not here. He's off in Long Table with barely any men. Uh, so I'll imprison this Tyrell to get some war score. Where are you? Long table. Oh, gotta hit him first. I'm not losing ground to a Rowan. I'll be merciful to the Lady Tyrell we're capturing. After all, it's not entirely her fault. Alrighty. <clears throat> I can kill a Rowan. Prepare to die. And he runs away. That's Rowan's for you. And the Lannisters is getting better at fighting. Don't know how I feel. I never know how I feel about Lannisters getting good. It's just life. I try to ignore them. 
just gotta remind yourself that this is not the uh, current timeline in Game of Thrones. These Lannisters aren't those Lannisters. Okay, my 20,000 men are going to go have a battle here with Coldmoat. Elmer has been legal and able servant. Of course, I'm paying him. That's the reason why I have so much money. Belmores have joined us. So the Belmores have. That's that's a reason to give him the veil, in my opinion. Um, if we end up taking the veil, I don't think we're going to strip it from the errands. But if we end up doing so, he's putting forth a legitimate claim on that. I suppose you're right, because Chase and Tempered really are better traits to try and um, get in here. Uh, the better stewardship, the better learning, because this learning actually matters. It gets you a better education at the end of the week. Um, gluttonous is just really a bad trait. Lustful's not the worst. You can come back from that, but I suppose you're right. Uh, of course, he gets Tempered. Eh. Yeah, it's the one with the better stewardship, so I'm, I'm, I'm not too angry. And Gregarious, please. Nope lazy. <sighs> of course. My shitty, shitty sons. That's the way this goes, you know? Aenys is opening one of my letters. I'm gonna be nice. He's my kid after all. Oh no. Ares. Ares can't die. He's one of my sons. I don't want my sons dying on me. I mean, he's so far down the line of secession, it's not even funny, but I don't want my sons dying on me. Okay. I need them. Orkmont's dead because this is the Iron War born Civil War. Ares has uh, been treated well. Compensation time. You treat my kids good, you get paid. And the Harlars have joined us. I don't know why. I don't really want to know why, but okay. And the bog is being invaded by this dude. Some Tyroshi. It's my duty to stop that invasion. I will do that, because I am a good king. And the voice is the same question. I do not care. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, tempered. Uh, I do not want him to become ambitious, please. Let's, let's just not start that right now. Okay, 9,000 men are coming down. Let's intercept them. Okay, they're at Eskroth, which, if you know the lore, uh, do you believe these are, yep, the Butterwells. This is poetic justice. We are having a battle at the White Walls. Oh, man. Okay. Let's smash them. Both are actually got killed. Okay, never mind. He would have made a shit Kingsguard. He, he got killed by... This Aaron. I mean, the Aaron's pretty good, but Lothar is supposed to be better than that, man. He at least won the day. He, he died with honor. Now da Damon's going to take control of this army and uh, end the war. As Damon's going to do whenever you tell him to do things. Aegon is truly my heir. He has become a formidable fighter. That is amazing. Good job, Egg. This is the real Egg. Hashtag the real egg. Anyway, um, I don't really want to start that, do I? Here we go. Let's go smash these guys. I don't care. Dorn has joined us. This is the weirdest rebellion ever. Uh, I, I suppose he wants to be a counselor for us, and he wants the wars to be over and the realm stabilized, but I do not understand what he is doing right now. I... I am flabbergasted by that. Uh, for those of you not entirely in the know, the Martells were strongly double married into the Targaryens, and not even uh, the you know the extended Targaryens. I I mean the Targaryen Targaryens. Uh, so I'm a little confused as to what they're doing right now, joining me, the Blackfire. I guess he knows the time is up and his cause is lost. 
Arian's getting better. Good. Just get everybody better. Pay off Bitterstool because he's done a great job of being Bitterstool. Okay. Caswells have joined me. Good. And some mountain clansmen and his employees run away. Oh well. I couldn't kill him. <laughs> As we try and take the veil. Ah. We have a 100% war score. Which explains why everyone is joining us. I'm going to offer peace. Okay. We have two traitorous errands. The son and the father. I'm going to end the son. Uh, he's being dealt with harshly. We are taking the reach from him. I'm probably going to give it to the peaks. He's the best candidate in my opinion. I'm going to be set this to groom an error. The reach? Oh, no, no, he's forfeiting the reach. You! You're going to the dungeons. Ah, uh, here we go again. The war is over. Heh, no it's not. The war is never over. That's what this series should be called. The war is just never over. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're back again. Uh, making more issues in the realm. As I try to just get men together. 3,000 up there, 6,000 down here. We're very easily going to uh, wreck this Aaron because uh, he has way less men now. He's down to only 2,000. I have his heir imprisoned, which is already 50% war score. Very easy win. I'm going to give it to the Belmonts. Sorry, the Belmonts, not the Belmonts. Thinking of horse races. I don't know why. <clears throat> uh, ooh, or I could give it to the Dunninger. That's an option, or... I remember that Sweet Sister has been with us for a while on several of these conflicts, and I do know that the sisters have been with us a couple of times, uh, but they don't really have the manpower to hold the veil. Strong Song does. So I'm going to give it to him. If we do actually end up taking it. I wasn't going to take it, I was just going to imprison him. Um, I can just kill him. And the land will go to his mother, which will then go to him. Um, he's already traitorous scum. I mean, I am a tyrant, but he is traitor. He is a traitor. His father is a traitor. I, he's making a strong case to die at this point, but he's already in jail, so I'm just going to prison him. And hope the link isn't broken. There we go. Alrighty. The Corbury is on one side, but we do have the Corbury by the throne. He'll do his duty. Ozicre is under threat from external enemies. The Webbers. Stop that. King's Landing from him. I don't know. More people are dead. Uh, such happens in Game of Thrones. Even the mod. Who can I give it to that's decent? Ambrose. This you won't be my king's guard. Go cloaks it is. Let's march on into the Vale. As everything's just going crazy in here. We have a dangerous faction for Sir Darren the Good. That's just great, isn't it? Uh, force Aegon to learn how to fight. He's gained brave. That That is my son. Uh, it, oh, he's arbitrary. He's, damn it. Uh, so my two first sons are both arbitrary, which is terrible uh, for actually being kings, but this first one's at least a good warrior. And that's a black fire at heart. He's just Arbitrary. Oh, I hate when that happens. Uh, for those of you not know, arbitrary kings just end badly, especially in this mod. Uh, it's it's a bad time. Um, I'm gonna go smash that. So nobody got beheaded. Who? Uh, 
Eric Aaron's just staying where they are until I can deal with them. I don't care about him. Here we go. Let's go. Prince Ares is gaining stewardship. That's good. We're going to force him out to Pebble. Garth the Grey is... He's not dead. He's with the company of the cat. What the hell? Night's Watch. Okay. He got banished to Night's Watch for some reason. Okay. I can make Mathos it. We know Mathos. Or Lucas the Long Inch. As hilarious as it is to have Lucas the Long Inch on the King's Guard, uh, he's in the Duncan Egg novels, for those of you not in the know. Um, I'm, I'm going to make it Sir Matthews. He's just better. Yeah, there we go. Nobody. Thorn's getting better. That's good. Get him. Uh, you're under curfew. Proud. Okay. Get him. Good. Oh, I killed the Aaron scum. That will make me so happy. He's got eight. I've got 14. I, I should wreck him. Uh, he runs away. That's the problem. If you're just too good, they all run away. All the time. And now hopefully my armies can siege these things down. The Malister has joined us. He's apparently the little paramount of the Trident after some chicanery. I didn't quite catch all of how that happened, but it's probably been in the pop-ups. Yeesh. Bad ways to go, man. Alright, get the other army in here. You've received whatever education you were supposed to, as did the Royce. Yay. I really don't care what the Royce does. Okay. Prince Damon. Oh, what am I going to do with you? I can set him learning focus. That sounds about accurate for him. Um, or intrigue. He's bad at being a marshal. He's mad at being a steward. Looking at this, I really want to send him intrigue. At best he'll be another blood raven, which I well, you know, Damon would hate. That his son named for him is uh, becoming a blood raven, but um it's <clears throat> what's happening here. My courtiers are plotting, of course they are. It's after all Game of Thrones mod. What would it be without plotting? Okay. My mother is becoming better at being a commander. I'm not even mad. I am not even mad about that. Get some commanders back here. Royce and Thorn. Eh, Royce turned out okay. He's a commander after all. Needs to be useful now. As we just siege stuff. It's gonna be a little while sieging things here. Hopefully we can trample these errands. That's my duty. So Boros. He's already, yes. Siege that. Just, just do it. Aegon is turning out well. He's charitable. Show more ambition? He's ambitious, that's good. Okay, that's not terrible. I can play with him. 14 Marshall, 8 Learning, he's going to get a decent education. Not like the best, but a good one. And Targaryen's to stay where they belong. Um, that's not bad. I can play as Aegon. Good to see him turning out well. Uh, bad things are happening in King's Landing. 
That guy who ran away from me just got executed by the so-called king of L. Okay. No complaints here. I'm just getting war score. It's really hard to siege stuff in Vale, so I went for one of the easier places. Uh, nearly all everywhere is easier than the actual area itself. Um, my usual idea for how you want to siege the Vale down is you take these a uh, couple of ones. This is actually not that hard to take, even though it's the bloody gate. Uh, you just sit and siege it. You don't actually call for a siege on it. It's for an assault on it. Um, I'll have something explaining what sort of strategies to do for winning wars in the Vale later. Um, but yeah, that's the sort of thing you want to do. Uh, Damon and Bittersteel want to have a duel. Sure. I will allow that. Oh, you rivals with Red Tusk, dude? Why? I love Red Tusk, man. Ugh. Better still for you. Making enemies with everybody. The Tarleys have joined us as we have 100% war score now and we can peace out. And get what we want. Which is good. Alrighty. Do nothing for now. Kenrick has died of old age. You know, you're a badass in Game of Thrones when you die of old age. All right, him. You're forfeiting the veil because you've defied me too much. Alrighty, we're a damn tyrant, but here we go. I'm granting the veil to the Bra Belmonts, Belmores, Belmores. Sorry, I'm going to do that at least three more times. Get the veil and all lower titles that we may somehow have. I don't think we would have any, but here we go. That will make him like us. It's very good, actually, and. I am going to give the reach to the peaks. I think they most deserve it. An argument could be made for the Florence or, or possibly the Stricklands, maybe even the High Towers, but I think the peaks deserve it most because they're the more capable vassal. There we go. That's our vassal's problems dealt with. Wars are over again. Hopefully this time it stays that way. We're bastardizing Darren Targaryen because he needs to be bastardized right now. And I'm going to request a coronation again. He better accept. Excellent. And of course the fail's not coming. <laughs> None of those guys are coming. Much people not coming. There's a civil war going on after all. And lash left food. Can stay where they are. Alrighty. I'm going to first banish the father to the Night's Watch. And then banish the son. That does give him the High Lordship of the Giant's Lance and High Garden, which is the Eerie and High Garden. And I really want those split up. So I might have to. Uh, Call for some more drastic action later. Uh, do we're going to introduce Aegon? They will be here soon. At my coronation, we're introducing him as my son and heir, and now we have to determine who will be the Lord Commander of our King's Guard. I really want it to be Red Tusk. Here we go. Yep, Grey's Knights. A Bracken, he's not bad. Valyrian, again, not bad. An Uller, pretty normal choices here. 7.17, 7.17, 8. The Bracken is slightly better than the other two. I'm going to take him. He seems like a good guy, too. Plus, he's a Bracken. We all know how much the Brackens love the Blackfires. We've groomed an arrow. No, oh, he's just a dutiful commander, but I don't really care about him. He's a brilliant commander, guys. We've d done a good job raising Prince Aegon. Even though he's arbitrary, he's a good commander. He's at least good at something. Hey, I'll take that. A little ambition done there, and now we're going to become exalted among men for our ambition. I'm going to call this an episode once we are coordinated. Um, Aegon is going to get... Dragonstone because he's the heir. 
enjoy it. Oh, Prince of Dragonstone. I will even name him High Admiral. Ah. Good. He's making friends with people next to him. Attorney, I'll get to that. Already, in the name of the Father, I, Damon of the House of Blackfire, the first of my name, promise, pledge, and guarantee in the sight of the Seven that I will be the protector and defender of the realm and always useful to it, however many, insofar as I am supported by divine assistance according to my knowledge and ability. Today I was crowned by His Holiness the High Septon, formerly received the king, the title of King of the Andals, the Roynor, the First Men. Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and protector of the realm. We did it, guys. We're no longer just a pretender. We're no longer a bastard. Well, we're a legitimized bastard, at least. House Blackfire reigns victorious. We've fought the pile of wars. Let's see what happened. How we can uh, actually hand it off pretty well here. Uh, of course, he's going to perpetuate some Dornish problems. I'm going to call this an episode here, guys. Thank you for watching, as I just quickly deal with a couple things. Namely, poke that, poke this, you know, tweaking things in the background. Nothing all that important. Nah, no need. Alrighty, now I'm going to call it an episode. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you like the content, please like and or subscribe as you feel free to do. This has been episode 3 of the Blackfires, and uh, from this point forward, the series is going to be geared to uh, seeing if we can survive as the leading house. As you can tell, there's been a couple of factions in the background here, namely, a couple of people want to still see those old Targaryens come back. Uh, Darren the Good, he was called the Good for a reason, for a little while. Breakspear, or Makar, or any of these guys can slither away and scheme and try and steal my throne. Or Bloodraven could do something unpredictable. We don't know. We are barely holding on to this throne after a very long, very polite con series of conflicts. Thank you all for watching. I will be back in the future with this in another installation. Thank you.